Hello, fellow Rams. I'm entertainment reporter Gabe Pokras. And I know you've all missed me this summer, and I'm glad to be back reporting on all things entertainment also. So let's just jump right in. Attention, Star Wars fans. Episode 7 may still only be a few months away, but merchandise for the movie is being released tonight at midnight. And since it will technically be Friday then, they are deeming the event Force Friday. The Target on South College will open at midnight and have special Star Wars giveaways. Amazon will also have some awesome Star Wars deals on the new products. So make sure to check those out. And if you love Star Wars, you'll love the recently opened Tavern in town. Our producer of the show, Julio Bessaril, exclusively spotlighted the tavern named Dungeons and Drafts. It's a great place for gamers and geeks to eat and drink. Take a look. Looking for a place to drink and play tabletop games? Look no further. Dungeons and Drafts is the place to be. I went and checked it out for myself. Well, I'm Julio Bessaril. I'm here at Dungeons and Drafts with Manny, the owner. Manny, could you tell us the origins of this place and how it came to be? It started out about almost two years ago. My wife and I used to live in the D.C. area, and we used to go to a lot of conventions, and we would constantly look for a nerd-type bar, and we could never find one. Manny and his wife, Melissa, opened the tavern after a Kickstarter campaign. Now the tavern is becoming a popular spot for the gamer community, offering a great space for people to come together. Our board game library, they're all laminated. Um, we accept donations. Uh, most of the big ones that we offer are big names like Castle Panic, uh, Dominion, uh, Ticket to Ride, uh, Settlers of Catan. Dungeons and Drafts offers gamers and geeks of all ages a welcoming environment. When people walk in, we want the feeling of acceptance. That's the biggest thing. Um, too often, Melissa and I would go in bars and we'd play Magic the Gathering or we'd play something else and get the weirdest looks. And we want a place where you can go in, uh, come to our board game library, pick out a game, bring in your own, and just be welcome like any other geek or nerd, or even if you're not nerdy, you know, you want to see what this is all about. We welcome that. As far as food, we do a lot of our smoking uh, out back on this giant smoker that's the size of a small car. Uh, so we do beef brisket, uh, smoked pork as well. Uh, we're, we don't have a deep fryer or a grill, and we're kind of proud of that, so it brings it back to you know the basics on food. There are also plenty of gamer-inspired drinks available. So can you tell me a bit about this one right here? Yeah, so that one, uh, that's the mutagen. It's got a uh, uh, dash of tequila in there, some orange juice, um, also a uh, green liqueur as well. Mutagen based on Ninja Turtles? Okay, here it goes. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> With special theme nights every month, Dungeons & Drafts offers something for everyone. Let that geek flag fly. Be yourself and be proud of who you are. And so that's what we're all about. <laughs> <laughs> that place looks awesome. I have three things that I saw in that was, first of all, Julio, after the video is over, probably just chug that drink after the camera was off. Uh, second, I really want one of those mugs. And third, I really want some smoked beef brisket now. So I'm definitely going to have to go out there and grab a beer. Um, I'm 21, I promise, so don't worry about that. But speaking of beer, Tour de Fat is this Saturday. The annual event is Fort Collins' number one highlighted event. And those who don't know me um, know that I love costumes. And I actually have a couple options to decide from. Um, here are a couple ideas that I'm going to show you guys. The first one is obviously the banana suit. So you can't go wrong with the banana suit. It's just a little bit hard to ride a bike in a banana suit. Um, the next option, um, it's the famous Tour de Fat beer bottle cap shirt with um, an afro. I'm going to probably grow that out myself, though. I'm not going to get a wig. And then, of course, some glasses. And there's me drinking a new Belgium beer. Uh, one more we're going on is uh, actually two more is a superhero. I uh, deem this guy Alpha Man because um, he is an alpha male, but he's a man, so he's Alpha Man. All right, next one. And last one is, of course, just the mask. And I completely forgot what kind of mask these are again. Um, and they told me three times, and I still forgot, but whatever. All right, 
Well, that's all the time we have for you guys. Um, have a great Labor Day weekend. Stay safe and tune in to all the CTV shows next week live at 7 p.m. Good night, Rams.